So in this theorem, we look at the area of the um, uh, triangle ABC and compare it to the radius of the X circle um, per, per, that is tangent to side BC. In doing this, we're going to actually treat this similar to if you've done um, a problem that has to do uh, with the radius or area of an in-circle, and that is we're going to create some triangles using the radius and the um, side lengths. And so the first one we'll create is this one. And so this triangle right here, notice that it does not go through F. That's an important distinction to make. Um, that triangle there has a side length AB, and then its height is the perpendicular from E to L, which is exactly RC. And so the area of that triangle is going to be um, one half times AB, which we're going to call C because it's opposite um, the side length C, and then times, and we're going to call this RA, sorry, because it's opposite A, one half C times RA, and then we're going to add to that another um, triangle, and so that's this triangle right here that we just did, and then we're going to do this triangle where we connect EC, which is this one, and it's going to be similar in that we're going to do one half but we're going to do B this time because that's this side length is B, right? And its height is also the perpendicular to that segment, which also turns out to be the radius of the X circle, and so RA. But if you notice, our triangle ABC is this part. And by adding these two triangles together, we have that part, but we also have this extra part. Well, that extra part turns out to be a um, triangle that has side length C and radius RA is also its height. So we can call it 1 half CA, C times RA, but we don't want to add that on because we already have that. We actually want to subtract that away. So we subtract that away. And if we do all that, we get that equals K, the area of our triangle ABC. Adding uh, or factoring out 1 half RA we get 1 half RA times C plus B minus, and this should have been A, sorry, minus A, right? This side length here was A, opposite side A. And that equals K. And then putting it in our first form here, that form is going to be just multiplying by 2 and dividing by C plus B minus A. So we get RA equals 2 times K over C plus B minus A gives us a nice way to find the area of the, or find the radius of the X circle. But the other thing you could do is this nice formula, and let's go ahead and do it in terms of A, so RA times S minus A. Well, to find it, we're going to come here. The first thing we're going to do is notice that we've got, just got RA, so we're going to put that one half inside here, and so we're going to have one half C plus B minus A, but I want the semi-perimeter, and so I want to have C plus B plus A. So I need to, um, to get that, I need to add a um, A inside that um, triangle, inside this. And so that means that I also need to subtract an A, and so I'm going to have 1 half C plus B plus A so that I can get perimeter. That's what I'm going to end up using actually semi-perimeter, but to get an A, I've got to subtract an A, and then I've already got a negative A there, too. And factor out the P, which is this, that leaves me with minus 1 half 2A. Simplifying gives you RA, 1 half P is just your semi-perimeter. 1 half times 2A is just A equals K. And so this is a very nice and easy way to find the um, information about the radius of the X circle given the side lengths and area of tr the triangle ABC.